Welcome back to SpongeBob's Boating Bash. Today we're going to be completing the final exams. Now, you may have noticed that I've gotten A's on all this, and par that's partially because of the many, many, many attempts that I did on these, but you know what? That's fine. It's not like I restarted them because I got a lower grade. It's because I just because I kept failing them. But now we are going to get into the back half of the exams with velocity. So this time we're doing a race against seven other people. We have to get first place to get an A. Or second place to get a B, you know? That's cool too. So there's four laps max difficulty and we are going to be on I don't know what the location is so we're just going to figure that when we get there so oh we only get three choices uh, I don't really you see game knows that if I chose a dinghy I would just dominate so it's giving us these choices. I think runabouts would be the best choice because of the steering. So let's uh, let's just go with the standard runabout. I think we I forget if we use black or I don't know what we used last time. I'm just gonna use white because it looks good. So I'll. S yeah, white, white looks good. Let's go with that. Well, now we get into the final exam for Velocity. And with that said, what do I think about Velocity? Well, there's not really much to say about it. You know, it's a race. It's pretty pretty standard. You know, there's, there's not as much to it. It's just get to the end first. Now, what I do like is that even though it's the standard race, it still makes things difficult by giving us these really wacky turns. Case in point right now, I'm getting destroyed because oh, they're in my way. They keep bumping into me. I keep bumping into them. You know, it gets cluttered, and your goal is to basically avoid that. Now, part of that can be being in first place the whole time, but... You know, sometimes that's not an option. But mainly, velocity requires good use of the handbrake, which can be difficult, especially for me. I'm, I'm not very good at the handbrake. <sighs> Dang it. Oh. Yeah, I might have to redo this. Okay. So, you know what, let's just go. Fourth. Fourth is better than fifth. I need to get in second to win. Or first. First works too. But yeah, velocity, there's... You know, I'd, I'd say something, but there's not much to say about it. It's, uh... Can I... You know, it's just a race, and I do. Uh, I I just, you know, it's just a race where you have to just be managing your turns correctly. So, but I guess while I'm here, I could talk about the other velocity mode, reckless velocity, which, oh boy, I have stuff to say about that. That used to be the mode that I had the hardest time with, but. Now that I'm, you know, grown up and I can play this game again, I can see that Reckless Velocity has its, um, advantages. I like how it's not about being in first, but you get a bonus depending on how quickly you can beat the, uh, the race. Overall, I like it a lot. I couldn't be Speaking of things I like a lot, I passed it first try. This may be a shorter episode than I anticipated, but um, we'll see about that. Overall, I give Velocity just a B, you know, it's pretty 
standard, you know? It's just a race. The Reckless Velocity. I'm gonna give it an A. I can understand why the developers put it in the game. It works pretty well. Unfortunately, we don't get a uh, Reckless Velocity final exam, but whatever. And hey, we got the Fire Bow. You know what that means. We're gonna be using it. Let's keep going. It's at the end of a journey that we come to the escape sequence. Like any Metroid game, this is an important part of the final two minutes of the game. So with that being said, we have seven opponents and we have to knock out 12 boats to get an A. Luckily, the difficulty is only three, making this potentially the easiest challenge. Let's see how we go. We get every boat at our disposal. I'm going to go for the fire boat, obviously, because it's a new boat. Speed low, durability very high. And hey, who doesn't like the fire boat? Um, pretty standard color scheme. I like the blue. I'm going to go with the blue. So, escape final exam. So what do I think of escape? Well, Three, two, I like Escape one. quite a bit. It's about destroying your enemies. Oh hey, there's Miss Puff. And if you can destroy them fast enough, then uh, you get your car fixed. I already completed Wave 1. So since they're all going after me, there's less of a chance that they're going to destroy each other, but it does happen, which is a little annoying because I don't it doesn't count for me when they destroy each other. However, man, the fireboat is good for this. I think escape is one of the better modes in the game just because it's a uh, how do I describe it? It's like a uh, horde mode, you know? Anyway, plus, I like jellyfish time. I think it's a cool idea. Extra damn obstacles, you know? There's so many jellyfish. Look on the map. Look at all over the place, man! So I already passed this, which is cool that I've done this well already. And actually, I'm probably going to get an A on this just because there's no timer on the, uh... There's, there's no timer on the escape, the third wave of escape, because it's the final wave. So with that being said, um, you know, this is actually just going to be kind of a shorter episode, you know? I was expecting this to take way longer than it did, but um, that's alright. I think, uh, I think it'll be alright. Figure out a way to, you know, length isn't everything, you know. If the video's short, you know, what be it? You know, it's nice having an easier challenge after the uh, last couple, which I just recorded, you know, by the way, so. Come on, Miss Puff, die. Miss Puff is giving uh, boning advice while she rams into me. There's a bit of hypocrisy to that, Mrs. Puff. But hey, there we go. We're done. Woo wee! That's awesome, SpongeBob. That is definitely awesome. Well, with that being said, we come to the end of our journey, but we can still continue driving school. What lies ahead? Just watch and find out, folks. It's gonna be a doozy. SpongeBob, my boy! Well done, well done! I did it! I did it! I'm a winner! I did it! Oh, this is the best day ever! Right you are! You come on over here, and let's get you that license to drive! Stand just like that. Very good. Now hold still.
Friends, <clears throat> may I have your attention? <clears throat> it is my great honor to present SpongeBob SquarePants, fair citizen of Bikini Bottom, with his very own license to drive. I would like to thank all of the little people who made this day possible. <laughs> to Mr. Krabs, I thank you for allowing me to work triple overtime to pay you for the chance to take these lessons. <gasps> and Patrick, Patrick, my dear friend, and of course, Mrs. Puff. Where would I be without... Oh, Mrs. Puff, I'm so excited to see you! SpongeBob, how exciting! <laughs> May I see your license? Here you go, Mrs. Puff. I present my license. Just as I suspected. My eyes are blue? No, what I meant was... But they are blue, see? Yes, SpongeBob, but what I meant was... And pretty. Blink, blink. Yes, very pretty, but this license... It's beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful! <laughs> yes! But I'm afraid it's not real. Ha <laughs> ha! You're quite the kidder, Mrs. Puff! <laughs> I'm afraid you've been had, SpongeBob. <laughs> Trusted you! You can't catch me! So long, sucker! Oh, yeah! We have another, uh. There's one more! Final battle! Defeat Seymour as his own game! Uh. Yeah, SpongeBob veterans might, uh. might recognize that. There are, like, five rules that Steven Hillenburg wrote out at the beginning of the series. I don't know all of them, but I know that some of them include, like, Krabby Patty formula can never be revealed. Um, and, uh, yeah, I forgot most of them. But yeah, SpongeBob can't get his license. That's a rule. Sorry, SpongeBob, but, um... You know, you 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 should have seen it coming. It's been, it, it just it was it was there. But um, yep. I don't want to keep us from the final boss, so let's just go. All right, final boss. <sighs> he is in a big boat. We are in a small boat. You can probably guess what we are trying to do. Like. Dang, okay. Look out. As you can see on the right, um, don't let him get into the red, or else he's too far and then we lose. Oh no, what? How did I? Dang it, okay. Alright, so I'm doing pretty bad starting out, but that's fine. This boss has unlimited time, hey, we just have to... He keeps dropping crap, which uh, slows me the way down. Luckily, this car is so nice when it comes to hey, speed. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I guess with this, I can just give some of my final thoughts, you know. Um, you know, for the unacquainted. I decided to play this game as like a first kind of let's play of the on the channel that I would do. You know, it's like an experiment. I've never done this kind of thing before. And I feel like it's gone decently well. Definitely puts me a little bit out of my comfort zone to be talking to myself for 30 minutes, you know, at a time over a SpongeBob game that I don't know too many people have actually played. But you know, um, this is the final part of your I decided to, you know, kind of imitate one of the, uh, you know, one of those uh, classic style YouTube Let's Plays, you know. And, you know, I hope I did good on it. I don't know. I'm not the uh, poster child when it comes to making videos, and I definitely don't know how to edit very well, but I, uh... I'm glad I got a little bit of practice, you know. All those little edits I was doing, you know, they're not special or anything, but, you know, I hope that this 
despite my ineptitude at making videos, you know, I'm just starting out. I don't know if I'll keep making them or anything, but... I'm just glad I get to finish this one out, you know? And I'm glad that, uh, for some reason, this has been the most popular series on the channel. I don't know why, you know, why Spongebob's Boating Bash is drawing in more viewers than literally anything else besides my Splatoon 2 run, speed run, which I also don't understand. I get, I don't, I don't get why that one's drawing in the views either. But I digress. Um, I think I'll try, I'll keep trying to make cool videos. You know, I'm, and I'm acting like this is my channel. This is not my channel. This is me and my two friends channel. Um, me, Abe, and Ethan. Um, and although I seem to have post, posted the most, although Abe posted quite a bit, I would check out his stuff, the Darkest Dungeon stuff's pretty cool. But, I digress. I, uh... Yeah, I got off on a tangent there. But, right now, all we gotta do is finish off Seymour. He keeps blowing us away with his giant jet engines. Now I'm gonna teach you a lesson. But, we have the power of having a tiny little truck on our side. I like this car. It looks pretty cool. And we're just so close to taking him out. Look at his health bar. I think we can cut him off if we... He... I got a tire attached to him. Yeah, he... Good, good thing I didn't spin out there. But yeah, overall, I'll get more into my overall thoughts, my closing thoughts on this game during the... Credits? No! <sighs> Okay, we're fine. Um, but I mean, yeah, since I got a little bit of time left... Jump over. I died, that's it. <sighs> I'll, get you next time, Seymour. I'll be right back to where I was just at. One eternity later. Come on, this is... Well, you know what? We'll we'll start back up here because if if I'm gonna give a detailed review, why not I give a review on this boss fight? Now, I understand that this game is, you know, was I think it was made on a budget. I mean, you saw that glass cutscene, you know, how much uh, detail they gave on SpongeBob's face when he was shocked, you know, like. Uh, you, you, you can tell exactly what kind of money this game had put towards it. But, you know, overall, I think this boss fight, I, I'm okay with it. It's a bit long, you know, and dragging, and I hate it when he, you know, randomly does this. I lose a ton of time. He gets way ahead. That's how I lost the last one, which is embarrassing. Like, yeah, come on. I'm supposed to be good at video games. Should I put my head to clean I don't, now? the chess video doesn't count, okay? Man, he's dropping so much crap on the road. How much... At least I didn't spin out that time. Um... Stop it. But yeah, overall, I give this boss fight the, I don't know, a B minus. You know, it's not amazing by any means, but it's serviceable. Like, you can tell that the devs kind of just put what they could on the table here. And hey, you know, it'll feel really good to slam this guy once I actually catch up to him. Because <laughs> one thing... You know, despite the cutscenes looking like they were made, well, I don't know, like despite the cutscenes basically just being some models standing around, sometimes moving their mouths, 
I do kind of like the story of this game. And with that said, we caught Seymour. Oh, that's nice. Oh, guess what? We unlocked him as a playable character. Oh, man. We also got the big tug, which is what he was driving. And the little tug, which is what we were driving. After all that, it was just a scam. Evil. Evil. I would have pulled it off, too, if it wasn't for Mrs. Puffs meddling around. I guess I'm not going to get my license after all. That's okay, SpongeBob. You can always take classes from Mrs. Puff again next year. Yeah, you're right. Oh, Mrs. Puff, how can I ever thank you? <laughs> no need to thank me, SpongeBob. <laughs> oh, what have I done? And with that, our journey comes to an end. I will, uh... I, gu I was expecting them to play the credits, but I guess we will play them right now. So, overall, this game... I, uh, th I think I like it. Still like it quite a bit. You know, I, I have a different mood, you know... Dip shoot. Oh man, I need to compose myself here. I have different opinions on the modes than I used to. Um, like Destruction, I used to like way more than now. And I used to hate Reckless Velocity, but now I kind of like it a lot. The story, despite being conveyed in some of the most low-budget looking cutscenes I've ever seen in my life, still pretty decent. I'm, I'm alright with it. I like how the d characters have actually funny dialogue during the game. I've showcased some of that. I like how most of the voice actors come back. You know, I don't care if, you know, it's unfortunately Mr. Krabs didn't make it, but whatever. Man Ray voices him. I'm fine with that. And, you know, I just, I just like this game. So, if you guys ever... You know, have your old Wii and you'd feel like playing a fun uh, demolition derby game. This is SpongeBob's Voting Bash. And, uh. I'm your host, Tad, and, uh. Hope to see you on the next, uh. Next game that I play. So say this one last time. Thanks everyone for making it through the series. And I'll see you guys in the next series, I guess. Or just around. So don't miss it. Talk to you later.